Well, here I am at my uh, my nemesis. This is the, this is the beach at Rue where I uh, sliced my finger open, and uh, it's the first time back to it since that day. And we're gonna have a search. Uh, metal detect, mud lark, whatever you want to call it today. Bit of everything. All right, I will see you shortly. Well, let's find number one. That's that teeny little thing there. Look. Bit of scrap, I think, by the looks of it. Yep. Yeah, a bit of scrap metal. Goodness knows what that was. It's had some holes in it at some point. Yep, okay. Scrap metal. On we go. Ugh, falling to bits as well. <laughs> okay, that's for the bin. Well, it's been a while since I found one of these, but there you go, one golf ball. <coughs> Do, 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 do. Range ball, range ball. It's from a golf range. Somebody's stolen it. All right, on we go. Well, here's a handy little tip for you. If you if you're metal detecting on the beach, if you look at the beach, you'll see areas. See where that pond of water is there, that pool of water, and then you've got like a bank. Well, that bank comes all the way around here. See that? It works all the way along there. Now this this bit here, this lower section is where you want to be searching because that's where your heavier objects will be uh, deposited. They won't go over the top of this bank. So things like lead and gold and any other metals really to be any to be perfectly honest with you will come they'll come washing down the beach as the tide's coming in and out but then they get to this bank and they stop and that's evidenced by uh, my first find here as I've just walked along and there we go <coughs> there's my first fishing weight okay so that just gives you an idea so what you want to look for like I say is the is the low spots of the beach like I say you can see that bank there so any any low spots before the bank or any low spots just after the bank to be perfectly honest with you although the closer you get to the shoreline the the, the more you get in uh, stuff will be getting washed out to sea but uh, but yeah that's what you want to be looking for is the is the low-lying areas all right well I'll bag this up and on we go well there we go there's another one of my arch nemeses on this beach a glass bottle well and truly caked well and truly caked. Let's flip it over, see if there's anything on the underside. And it's a Gordon's Gin. Look at that there. Gordon's Gin. Special London Dry. Yeah, well, that's not for me. I'll throw that in the bin. Well, some of you may know uh, when I've done this pitch in the past, it's been notebook fishing weights and that looks like another big piece of fishing lead yep a sinker of some description all right well add another signal again just before this bank as it lifts up there you can see that there so we're just before that on the lower ground and there's the signal there and it's another another lead fishing weight by the looks of it oh yes yeah lead sinker Um, for those of you that uh, are probably going to ask as well, um, I know I'm not using gloves here. Um, when I can see things clearly with my eyes, and I can pick them up clearly without touching anything else, then I go ahead and pick them up. Um, I do have some anti-cut gloves, uh, particularly for glass on the beach. And uh, I'm now using those for my bottle digging as well. Uh, you probably saw in the bottle digging video there I had a pair of gloves on. Well, they're, they're a pair of gloves that uh, uh, a, a very kind gentleman uh, off of one of the, uh, well, the uh, Highland Metal Detectorists Facebook group um, sent me a pair of, uh, well, two pairs of uh, anti-cut gloves uh, and they were much appreciated. So, yeah, so there you go. There's another fishing weight. 
And there we go, not far from that one there. A couple of feet, and there's another one, as you can see. A lovely, a lovely lead fishing weight. It's gonna be one of those days. Another tip if you're beach hunting is to look for these little areas where uh, where the rocks have been exposed because again objects will get uh, caught in between the rocks and they won't go any further so uh, I've got a signal just in here somewhere I'm gonna see if I can find, tell you what let's see if we can find it with a pinpointer there we go we're on let's move that out of the way just there there we go and it's fishing low Okay, and it's as easy as that. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. Ugh. On the fishing law. Again, this uh, this side of the beach. I'm just on the other side actually. There's the path up there to the lighthouse. I'm just on the other side, which faces into the gale lock. And uh, and yeah, on fishing law, reusable that one. Doesn't look like it's been in there long. There you go. There's another weight. I'll have a mudlark and find that one. A sinker. All right through. So we know it's not. Uh, occasionally you see these and they look like uh, musket balls. Um, but the giveaway is that the hole right through the middle. So uh, so yeah. So there you go. Fishing sinker. I'm going to call this sinker beach or lead beach. I think I called it lead beach originally. <laughs> My, I can hear bagpipes as well. You probably can't hear that. Okay, well, this is uh, this could be uh, beach detecting tip number three, and uh, something you need to look for as well is uh, when the sand's been washed away, sometimes you find clay. Can you see that? See that clay there? It's all coming up on my spade now. And that's ideal, because that holds metal objects. Once they touch that, they're stuck. And I've got something in here, and because uh, it's just from that scrape there. Good signal. Might be a bit of scrap, might be a fishing weight, but it's always worth digging when it's in clay. Let's have a look. It's in there somewhere, look. Not too worried about the pointer at the moment. Hmm. Goodness, that's the only drawback is you have to go through all this stuff here, look. Where are you? There you go. It's there, look. It looks like a bit of scrappy goodness knows what, but... And it's a homemade fishing weight, is that? Piece of lead wrapped around with a bit of fishing line through it. There you go. Another handy tip as well. Uh, again, if you're on the beach and the, it's nice and calm like it is today, then you'll see that you've got a good a good view of what's under the water so it's always worthwhile if you've got wellies or even if your detector uh, mine's not waterproof but uh, if your detector's waterproof then uh, then even better because um, you get things like oh, there's another golf ball it's been sat there a while so there's that kind of thing uh, like i say you can just have a wander about in the water cool your feet off as well i must admit uh, although again i am wearing wellingtons because uh, this uh, beach has a lot of uh, fishing and lots of history. Uh, there used to be a uh, ferry that used to come across from uh, uh, Rosneath there. So it used to come across between the two. So there's things like uh, lots of broken uh, antique bottles and things in the water. So uh, so yeah, it's always, always worthwhile being mindful of uh, what's in the water. Never go rushing in in bare feet. But, uh, but yeah, always worth a look. There you go from that scrape there. Brought it over and that's it there. Another fishing weight by the looks of it. Yeah, still got the line attached. 
looks like a bullet that one. <laughs> See how sometimes you can, uh, you can get caught out with uh, some of these things. Some of these weights looking like bullets. But, uh, but yeah, it looks like a homemade sinker that one. Yeah well. Oh, there was the next signal, it's another old uh, rusty fishing law. You could still use it I would imagine but uh, I think we'll throw this one in the bin. And there's another lure, 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 big one this time, a couple lure. There you go, that's a beauty isn't it? So that's reusable. Yay! <laughs> Coin number one, <laughs> can you see it there? There's <laughs> a penny. It's a manky old penny. Well, not a manky old one, but uh, a well worn one anyway. Yeah, Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth, one penny. Yeah. Uh, well, coin's a coin. This little guy is uh, looking for somewhere to hide. Look. <clears throat> Should his best to blend in. I've just got my next coin there. Just there. Let's have a look. Oh, he's off again. <laughs> I suspect that's a two. No, it's not a two P. It's King George V. That's a half penny, I would imagine. Ship half, a ship half penny. Yeah, it's a ship half penny. Probably can't see that. Sorry, man. Detector's going mental here. Ship half penny. Well, there's barely a cloud in the sky and the sun is beating down. And there's my next one. It looks like another mahusive fishing weight. No, tell a lie, it's not a mahusive fishing weight. What are you then? Yeah. Oh, it is, yeah, it's a big. Oh, those big. Uh, big weights. Ugh. This is the fun bit, washing this rubbish off, this filthy crusty mud and the sweat is rolling down my face. Woo! Another great big weight to take home. Well something's better than nothing anyway. When the scrap lead, that must be going on about 40 kilos now. <laughs> If you can hear that, there's the pipes. It sounds like a wedding at the uh, at the boat club here. It's that building just behind there. Well, that's just to give you an idea of how. Uh, how warm it is at the moment, this is uh, it's normally uh, quite a, a hefty stream coming out here going off into the sea but uh, as you can see it's totally dried up, completely dried up and uh, yeah the weather's been like this for uh, oh gosh must be going five six weeks now which is great for us because it's uh, something that we rarely see I don't remember a a summer like this since uh, since back in 1976 when I was a toddler when I was about five years old and that was some summer but uh, but yeah long may it last well that's me uh, back home now as you can see and uh, whew, tell you the Sun is hammering down right now I mean it's absolutely Roasting, it's three o'clock, it's just coming up to three o'clock, right bang on at the moment. <sighs> so hot, so hot. Anyway, let's have a look at what we got. And, uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, one golf ball, <laughs> range ball, range ball. <sighs> right, fishing weights. Uh, that one says something on it, but I can't be bothered trying to figure out what that says. But yeah, fishing weight. 
a homemade one with the line still in it. Looks like a bullet. Homemade one that was the one stuck in the uh, in the clay. Line still in it. Uh, maybe a four ounce. I don't know much about weights. Another one, four ounce probably. One of these big brutes, probably a four or six ounce maybe. I don't know. I can't guess. I have. I've got scales. I could weigh them. This brute of a thing. I've seen uh, these used for uh, crab fishing. Something I must have a go at one day. Uh, fishing laws. That's a nice big one. <laughs> she said. <laughs> uh, that one's seen better days, but I mean, it still could be used if you were a fisherman, if you were desperate, I suppose. That little glint of uh, silver in the water. And one of those, again, too, seems to be a standard shape. Uh, brand new uh, little circular things on there. And a little ball. Uh, like I say, sometimes these can, people get confused with these being musket balls when uh, the uh, the giveaways those holes right through. No holes means it's a musket ball. And the penny we got. Never say no to a penny. Queen Elizabeth and King George V. Half penny. Uh, ship half penny you can't make it out on there unfortunately it's uh, it's just a tad too far gone but uh, but yeah we're not saying no you can just about make his head out on there well thank you for watching once again everybody and uh, hello to the, all the new subscribers as well if you enjoyed that then uh, give us a thumbs up leave a comment down below if there's something interests you um, my email address is in the description down below as well if you've got a question that you want to ask me or there's something that you, you know, you've seen a video you might be interested in purchasing then uh, send me, find me off an email and then we'll see what we can do. And uh, yeah, share the video if you, if you feel like it and uh, I will see you on the next one. Alright, bye for now.